I was on the very first Great Walk, which was a protest walk against logging in old growth forests. And it started off with a groundswell from Denmark in, and the southwest communities. And we ended up in Perth in, with about a thousand people marching through the streets. And I've been coming to Great Walks for 20 years, bringing my three children who have grown up on Great Walks. And it's been loving, nurturing, extremely fun lifestyle and I think I'll be doing it till the day I is my name. I was first introduced to the Great Walk when I was in Bali and I met Deb Hay and she said you must come on our next Great Walk. They are marvellous. I had nothing to do so I came home, went on the walk, the Don Tricasteau Walk, 1991 and it was a life-changing experience for me. It was such fun. Um, I've been coming back over and over and over to the Great Walks as I love the camaraderie, the beauty of our walks through the Australian bush and the general feeling of sharing with others. I'm Basil Scher. I live in Denmark where I'm an environmentalist and educator. I've been coming to the Great Walks for 20 years and love it. And this particular walk I'm, I've coordinated the route and quite a lot of the support. Um, what I appreciate most about it is the networking and connecting with friends, old and new, as well as to touch base with the wonderful South Coast environment that we have down here. And it's also been possible to link in with quite a few of the Green Skills projects, the Rail Trail, the Centre for Sustainable Living, the Sanctuary and the Rail Trail, um, all of which are environmental projects that I'm, in, I'm involved in through my employer, which is Green Skills. And so that's me. G'day. Well, it's great to have a chance to uh, go feral again, experience all the elements, the fire, the rain, the wind. <sighs> so much taken from us in the city. It's good to be back with a new, new tribe of people. Enjoying all of this. Paradise. Paradise. What's your name? Rob.
Mark, I started on the walk uh, 19 years ago. I missed the first walk to Denmark, but then um, I heard about it and thought, oh, this sounds like a good thing. Hi, I'm Lisa. I've been on many a great walk and it's always really nice to be on one. Um, it's the bush, it's the people, it's the way we do things, how we organize ourselves. There's always plenty of people who do a lot of stuff. We always have a fire and nice food and nice togetherness and nice songs and we go through really beautiful country we've been camping on Paris Beach today and we're back in an area where I've, I've lived for a long time I lived there when we had the first great walk and all this energy was coming over from Denmark with people walking to Perth and then we've done since then we've done lots and lots of walks in the different areas from Mount Many Peaks and es Esperance all the way up to Broome um, up to Kew up in the gold fields and so on. <laughs> hey Grant, yeah. Morgan stopped back here at the other, you know, the little crossroads back there. Okay. She thought that might have been the two and a half cut on the road. Yeah. We can yeah, well, just yeah. 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 <laughs> Happy to give a young kid a hand. Just keep saying that. Um. Hi, I'm Mizzy Munford. I've been going on the Great Walk for four or five years. Sarah and Claire and Matthew live next door to me and that's how I heard about the Great Walk and I've been coming ever since. I only do the April one but that's just what I need. I love the Great Walk because of the community and because it rejuvenates my spirit because when I come it's great to know that there are still people on the planet who are caring, sharing kind of people and like to get together. So I come to share what I can give and I love what everybody shares with me when I'm here. It's fine enough. It's fine enough. Do the kids have a second watermelon now? Um, it's just that all the people have... Yeah, no, 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 no. There's heaps of people coming here. Black free week, yay! Here we are. What about that? There, I'm um, Mo Maureen Ramsey. I've been walking with the Great Walk now for a few years. I think this is about my fifth walk. I became involved through my friend um, Deb Hayes, and um, yeah, I've had some wonderful, wonderful trips. And this every, every trip is different, and every trip is wonderful. And I've met a lot of really wonderful people. I've also met, of course, some trying people, but that's all what life is all about, and we're all out here to learn something, I guess, of how to get along with people in that regard. But honestly, I love the way that um, I'm able to, through the Great Walk, get to places that, um, and learn things that I would just absolutely, totally never be able to learn if, um, and do, if it wasn't, um, if it wasn't a Great Walk.
Well, I'm really grateful for the great walk. It's I came out of a really secluded life into a long, month-long walk, and it gave me the direction for the rest of my life. I think. I lo and I, I am a landscape architect. I love the land, and I love the spiritual quality of this walk and this group because they really are concerned with the unity of everybody and the inner connection of everybody. And I am so grateful for that. And your name is? My name is Bobby. Bobby yes. Don't do this to me. Sorry. Don't want to give you Deb Booker, and uh, I've been involved with the walk since before, just before the, the 10 year anniversary walk. And Joan Jenkins came to a Nanup Folk Festival and threw some bits of paper in front of me and uh, said, to Come on, this. And I just took her up on it, really. I met, uh, went down to Contos in the first one. That's Contos to Nana, and that was a fantastic experience. Yeah. And I really got it about moving community, and I loved being the people that cared for the environment. They're my, they're my people, they're my, my, uh, um, my tribe. And I feel that all the time. I'm always aware when I meet people that I know through the Great Walk, I know we've got this extra special link. Even though I haven't done a few, I haven't done any for a little while, I always feel a connection with Great Walk. And so yeah, and seeing the moving, the movie of the original walk just is so moving, and uh, you really you know that uh, we're a special bunch. And good thing, good thing is just the movie. Oh, wow. Okay, I've got lavender oil. Oh. Yeah, I just, I'll, I'll, I'll have a quick word with him, I think, about it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah, I'm home. I'm Kevin. And uh, I joined the Great Walk ten years ago for the tenth anniversary walk. Saw a bit in the paper about what was going on and uh, I think they were camped at Giblet Block. And walked in and it's been like that ever since. Done a few walks since and really enjoyed it. Of course I would enjoy it, otherwise I wouldn't be here. The big thing for me for the Great Walk is, uh, believe it or not, getting away from it all, even though you're getting into it all. It's just the, uh, the walking, the being, learning to get along with people, learning to get along with myself. And because it's uh, an addiction-free zone, really learning to get away from alcohol for a little while. So when we do a nice six-week walk, it's really, really good. Hi, my name is Adele and um, I joined the Great Walk right after the very first Great Walk. It was called the Wildflower Walk from Mount Lindsay to Mount Franklin and uh, I had two small children at the time. And, uh, I loved being in the bush because I grew up in the bush and I just fell in love with the Great Walk. It was just the most beautiful um, experience being out in the wildflowers. The wildflowers were fantastic at the walk. Um, being there with my children who... Um, my husband was really too busy at that time to go camping so I felt really well supported. 
captured by the war. Um, but people were very welcoming. I didn't kind of feel like I really belonged at first, I have to say, but I sort of persevered. Um, Debbie took me along and eventually loved it enough to keep coming back and I've been coming back now for 20 years. And um, still love it, still wonderful. I love all the experiences and all the people and the walks and the fun, fun, so, you know, you just have so much fun on it. Camaraderie. Um, no. He wasn't on the last one, but he was on the No, no, first one, not too bad. You get quite the strong, but still. You can wait to smile, you know. Outside me gave her my own horse she'd be. <laughs> and I called to my wife and I said to her, Will you kindly tell to me who owns this horse outside the gate where my own horse should be? Said she, You're drunk, you're drunk, you silly old fool, you're drunk, it's plain to see. For that's a lovely milking cow your mother gave to me. <laughs> We camp at nice places like in the bush, at beaches. We camp at nice places like forests and beaches and swamps. We have nice walks and lots of good food. We sit by our fire and sing songs and celebrate everything. And uh, what's your name? My name's Manu. Uh, 
Hello, I'm Katja. I'm from Germany and um, yeah, I'm a mover like Yoroko. Um, I'm staying here by um, Tim and Anne Marie. <laughs> and it's the first time for me on the Great Walk and I enjoy the company. Thanks very much for all. <laughs> Hello, my name is Ryoko. Um, I came from Japan. Uh, I'm roofing in Australia. And, uh, uh, yes, I I stay in Johan's farm and uh, I, I came to here with him. Uh, first time, and very nice experience. Hi, I'm, I'm Re, and I've known of the Great Walkers for 20 years now and I suppose it's, it's just good to get out in the bush with people and but I think mainly when you're out in the bush and you're working together, moving camp and doing different things here, you learn how to get along with people and that's probably the best thing I've learned about the Great Walkers. This is the most wonderful family opportunity that you could possibly ask for without choosing it. This is a bunch of people that just come together because they love nature, they love being out in the open, and they love connecting with each other. And the children that grow up here are children that have just got lights in their eyes all the time <laughs> because they're happy, they're happy children.